To make these ornaments, I am using our designer series paper package, our Christmas package, and this one is called Trim the Tree. And I've taken out two of the sheets. Now these um, measure four and a half across, and I want two strips, so I'm going to cut it down at two and a quarter. This is our fabulous rosette die. I love this die. And on one side of the die, we have kind of like the zigzag look. And the other side, we have a bit more of a scallop look. I want this particular rosette to have the scallop. So I'm stacking up all four pieces. I'm laying them on top and I'm gonna crank this through the big shot. All right, I now have my four pieces all put through my rosette die and the creases are already automatically in there from the die. So I'm going to accordion fold every piece of paper that I have, just like that. And I'm gonna do that to each piece. Okay, every piece has been folded um, like an accordion. And what I've done is I've taken my sticky strip and I've put a strip of it on each end of the pieces. So now I'm going to take my paper snips and just lift off that strip right there. And glue it on. So we're going to do that all the way across until we have one long piece. Okay. I just like to use my scissors to peel off those little bits. I find it easier than using your fingernails. Now that this is all one circle, what you're going to do is you're going to kind of just push it all down flat and you're going to take your hands just to squish it all into the center and that will make our rosette. Now to hold it there, I'm using our silicone mat and I'm going to use my hot glue gun and just squeeze out a big puddle of hot glue. I love these silicone mats. All right, so I know this is off camera a little bit, but I'm just squishing it down. You're gonna pick it up, I'm squishing it all together, and you're gonna push it right down into that puddle of hot glue. So easy. Once you've given that a second to dry, you can just peel it right off and your glue's flat on the back and it's holding your rosette in shape. How pretty is that? Oh my gosh, that is pretty just the way it is. But we're gonna decorate this front a little bit. I'm going to make my embellishment for the top of my rosette using the Wondrous Wreath stamp set, which has coordinating framelits. There's all kinds of framelits that come in with this. Um, so we've got for our wreath and a couple words, Joy Noel, the bow and the bow holder. It's a great little framelit set. This is all from our holiday catalog. One of the neat things about these framelits, if you haven't already seen um, other examples with this, is there's little tabs on the top of each one um, for the wreath. And that is so we can stamp them and position the framelits perfectly. So I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm going to put the first smallest wreath framelit, this is the inside of the framelit, on my Whisper White and put that through the Big Shot. I'm using my magnetic platform. I've got my two plates. Now these plates have been used a lot so I've got all the scratches on them but that's okay they still work. So I'm putting my magnetic platform down first, then I'm putting the plate down, my Whisper White, and my framelit, which of course because the plate's magnetic, it holds that framelit in place. Putting my top plate on and then just cranking it through. So now we've got that piece right there. A trick when you are stamping with your photopolymer stamp sets is to stamp onto our foam um, mats. It just makes a nice impression. I'm putting my first wreath onto my clear block. I'm inking it up with my wild wasabi. And because I know that I had the top tab going this direction, that's where I'm going to want this tab of my stamp. That looks pretty good. Next I'm taking the other layer of the wreath, 
going to build on top of that wreath and this one's going to have darker leaves on it. This is garden green. I'm pulling colors out of the wreath. I know that um, we've got that darker green which is the garden green. And again with the tab face up. I'm going to add another layer on top of the wreath and this is the berries and I'm using the um, cherry cobbler. Nice and festive. This piece is going to go through the Big Shot too. So I'm putting this on my magnetic platform. And again, this tab is going straight up. My stamping's a little bit off, but you know what? I'm not too concerned because it's gonna look really good. I'm gonna put that through my Big Shot. So then when you take out the framelit, you have a beautiful wreath. Absolutely stunning. There's also a little star on here and I have some scrap silver glimmer paper where this fits perfectly which is why I can't throw any of these bits out because they get a lot of mileage out of them so I'm going to put this through the big shot as well. So now I have my rosette, my wreath and my star. So I have another piece of paper from that same designer series paper package and I'm using my one and three quarter inch circle punch. I'm just going to pop out a circle and this is going to get glued in the center. Now you can use whatever glue you have handy, but because I still have my hot glue, I'm gonna go ahead and use that. That's gonna go right on top like that. I'm gonna use Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of my wreath. So I've got five dimensionals on here. I'm going to center that right on top and push down so it's raised a little bit in the center. I'm going to take another dimensional for the star, which just fits on there so that you're not seeing any dimensional peeking out from behind. I'm going to put that right in the center. So I'm going to add a bit more sparkle and I'm using our dazzling details. This is in the cherry cobbler. I'm going to put this onto the berries. So it really adds a lot of nice dimension and sparkle. So I'm going to go all the way around with that. Doesn't that look pretty? I love it. So that dazzling details is going to take a little bit to dry. So I would set that aside until it dries before we move on to the next step. Now the expression I want to use on this rosette is from a different stamp set which is called Holiday Invitation and I want to use the Be Merry. And I'm going to emboss this in silver. So I'm inking this up with my Fursa mark. Oops, make sure your stamp is straight on your block. And these stamps will stain a little bit from previous inks, that's alright. So we'll stamp that down. And I know you can't see that on the camera but it's stamped there. Fursa mark is a clear ink. I'm just going to sprinkle on my silver embossing powder and tap it off. We're going to set this with the heat tool. So now it's all metallic and beautiful. We're going to trim this out into a little banner. So I have my banner, I'm just taking my bone folder and I'm just going to add some curves to it. Just snip a Stampin' Dimensional in half. banner on just like that I'm going to punch a hole so that we can hang this on the tree and then I like to use a floss threader for those tiny little holes to get our ribbon through in this case we're using cherry cobbler baker's twine
I'm just tying a knot just like that and now I have a bow so I'm gonna put that bow on and I'm just gonna use a glue dot for the bow and I'm gonna put that right on top where that hole is and there you have it a beautiful ornament for your tree Thanks for watching my friends. I hope I've inspired you to make some rosette Christmas ornaments for your decorating this year. Happy snapping!